The plan for this video is to show you two different ways that you can compile your C++ code in this class. And there are lots of different ways to compile your code, so this is just two ways. So just remember that there's a lot of different ways to do this, and I'm just showing you like a couple ways. So first of all, what for how you compile as far as the like workplace or when you go off and um, do other stuff, if you're developing software, you're likely going to be using some sort of IDE, which Microsoft Visual Studio is really popular. And that's what we have installed on the computers in the lab. So I'm going to show you how to compile your first program on that and um, a few tweaks that you need to do to get it to work. And then if you're going into more of a scientific computing environment or if you have your own computer and you want to compile using either Linux or a Mac, I'm going to show you how to compile with a command line as well. And we'll talk about we'll talk more about this in the lab, but for now I just want to show you how to get started with Visual Studio and then I'll show you how to compile the same program using a command line. So if you open up Microsoft Visual Studio, this is what you'll see something like this. And so what you need to do is first of all go to File, New, and then Project. And then you want to make sure you select Empty Project because if you select one of these other, um, this Windows console application or this Windows desktop application, your program isn't going to compile right. So you want to make sure you select Empty Project, select OK, and it creates the project. And then you see over here you have a list, of, you have some folders and other things. So you have, this is Project 45, it, it'll just, you can rename that if you want, but I just let it add the numbers, I guess. Um, so you have these other uh, references, external dependencies, header files, resource files, and source files. So what you want to do with this to get started is add a source file. So the way you add that is right click on source file, go to add, go to new item, and select C++ file. And make sure you select the C++.cpp file. If you select a header file or a, a class file, it's, it's not going to work. So make sure you select the .cpp file, and this is your source file, so go ahead and add that. And then the, it comes up with a blank screen because I've added a blank source file. So now what I want to do is go ahead and download the code for the first program, and it's just called firstprogram.cpp. And if you're working on Windows, so I already have this open, and I have it loaded in Notepad++. So we have Notepad++ on the computers in the lab, so if if you want to um, save your source files using Notepad++, that'll be better than saving them with, say, Notepad or um, Word. And one reason why Notepad++ is nice is because it's a, a program, like it's, it's created for writing programs, and so it has the um, different colors for your different things, so you can easily look at your code. It also has the lines numbered. And if you're Using your own computer, Notepad++ is free, so you can just go download it. So what you want to do now is just copy and paste this code into Visual Studio, into the source file. So I've copied and pasted the code from Notepad++. This is that first program.cpp. And so I've copied that into... Um, into Visual Studio. And so now that you have this code in here, what you want to do is compile it, but before we compile it, there's one sort of hang up with um, 
with Microsoft Visual Studio, and that's it. So it compiles, so it'll compile your program, and then it runs it. But the problem is the the console window that it opens up when it runs it will close immediately. So because it'll run it, and then the program ends, and so it closes the console window. So there are a few different things you can do to try and prevent that. And the first thing to try is. First of all, go to project. So go to project, properties, and then you want to go to linker, system, and then on the subsystem, select this console, subsystem console, and hit apply and then OK. And so it did what I was worried about, which is it closed the console window. So another thing you can try is putting a breakpoint before this return zero. And we'll talk more about the return zero in class. But to put a breakpoint here, right click where you want to put it. So I want to put the breakpoint here. So I right click, and then I go to breakpoint and then insert breakpoint. So this red dot that it inserted right here is the breakpoint. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again. And this time the this time the the window or the console stayed open, so that worked. And this is doing what I expected it to do. So I have the I'm with the with the C out command I'm telling it to print this stuff to the screen. So now is the time for all good men and women to come to the aid of their party. And so I can see that that was printed to the screen. So that's what I want. So that's how you do the, the first um, program in the first lab in Microsoft Visual Studio. So now I want to show you how to compile this if you're doing it from the command line. So if you have a Mac, or you have Linux and you want to compile from the command line, or even on Windows if you want to, if you want to try compiling, or if you want to work on the command line on Windows, you can install um, a program called Sigwin, and that will allow you to do um, Unix and Linux commands on Windows. So what I want to do now is pull up my command line. And <clears throat> so what I've done is I have this source code. So this is the exact same source code. And I'll pull it up real quick. So this is in Notepad++. And this is the exact same source code that, that I had in Notepad++. And I copied and pasted it into Microsoft Visual Studio. And so this is. This is the same code that I'm compiling. So I'm not compiling any different code. It's all the same code. I'm just compiling it a different way. So I've already, so what you want to do if you're, before you compile your, compile your program is you want to change your directory to wherever you have your source code. So I have my, I have that file in this CS1405 source code folder. And I can see what's in that folder by typing the command ls. And so when I type that command, it tells me that I have the first program.cpp. So that's the same program. So to compile this, all I do is type g++. Whoops. And then I type the name of the source code I want to compile, so first program.cpp. And then if I just hit enter now, that would compile it, but I want to tell it what name to save the to save the file as that I'm gonna run. So the source so the compiler will compile the source code into a, a program that you can run or an executable on a Windows machine, and so I want to tell it the name that I'm going to compile that program into. If you don't tell it a name, it'll compile it as a.exe or whatever. So that 
I, I think it's better to name it. So you do that by typing dash O and then the name that you want it. So I'm just going to call it first program. And one thing to note is when you put when you type your when you put in the name that you want the program to compile to, make sure you don't put dot cpp on it. Otherwise it'll compile it and overwrite your source code. So just make sure that like I usually just don't put an extension on the file that I'm compiling it into. So now I can hit enter and hopefully that compiles, which it did. So if there was an error, it would have shown me an error here when I compiled it. So now I just hit, so now to run this, so the if I go to ls again, you can see that I now have the first program.cpp, which is my source code. And now I also have first program.exe, which is my executable file. So now I can run that by typing dot forward slash and then the just the name of the program that I want to run. So, and you can see that it ran it. So it typed. So this is the exact same thing that I got when I ran it in in Visual Studio. So um, it just it, the all the program does is print out this code. It print out these words. Now is the time for all good men and women to come to the aid of their party. So that's two different ways to compile. You can decide how you want to do it in this class. Um, we're going to, Microsoft Visual Studio is on the machines in the lab, but if you want to go this other route and um, compile using the command line on your personal computer, that's perfectly fine.